an exciting morning for us. She was just crowned Miss Hawaii 2015 Saturday night, days ago. And guess what? She woke up really early this morning to join us. Janae Capella is joining us live this morning. Good morning to you and congratulations. Thank you. Good morning. I do want to also point out you won the talent contest and the swimming contest. So, huge night for you Saturday night. Yes, it was really exciting. Talent, my talent was uh, a contemporary dance to my heart will go on and swimsuit. That was really exciting. It's a focus on your lifestyle and fitness. So. And you have been dancing for quite some time. Yes, pretty much my whole life. I danced classical ballet for 13 years and then I ended up deciding that I wanted to dance for the UH Rainbow Warrior dance team. So I did that for two years, which was really exciting. You grew up on the Big Island. Uh, you yes. School Kapi'olani. You're taking a year off though because you have a lot to do. In fact, this September, Another big mission you're approaching. Yes, I will. In September, I will be going to Atlantic City to represent the Aloha State at the Miss America competition. What are you excited about? And uh, let's be honest, what are you a little bit nervous about? Hmm, I'm super excited to just give my heart and soul to this state. I mean, I grew up here, my heart is here, and I absolutely love the opportunity that I'll be able to represent you all at Miss America. And I think the thing I'm most excited about is just being able to go there and experience that. I actually had Miss America call me the other day. So Kira Kazan <laughs> Steph called me and I was like, oh my goodness, she's talking to me. So it was so exciting, so exciting. One of your platforms for the year and something that you were highlighting, and you definitely did on Saturday night as well, is human trafficking. And it's very close and dear to your heart. Yes, I had a cousin who was trafficked right here in Waikiki and I wanted to focus on that and I wanted to be able to share what I know about that so I can help protect the future generations. I am the executive director of a nonprofit called Unite, which is to focus on prevention because education is what's going to end exploitation. Now, what, what are you doing in the next year with your organization? So, in the next year, I'm going to focus on building that up and promoting that. I hope to talk to multiple schools across the state and hopefully bring that to a national and global attention. Any young women that are watching this morning and just, you know, I mean, wanting to emulate or. Um, Follow in your footsteps in any way, shape, or form. What's your advice for them? Be true to yourself. Be who you are and share that person with the world because that's the person that people want to know. You are an ambassador for our state for the next year. What, what else are you looking forward to as the year moves on? Well, I will be traveling a lot. And yes, Ms. Hawaii is um, recognized by the government as the official ambassador of Aloha. So I'm looking forward to promoting tourism and working with the Hawaii Tourism Authority and the Visitors Bureau to promote Aloha here in the state. Janae, thank you for coming in this morning and waking up. Congratulations. Thank Love you, you so, so much.